guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Office Blog Daz. Office Blog Aiden. Here we are, Office Blog Daz Sports Edition, bringing you everything sports. Yeah. And if sports is a thing for you, give us a like and subscribe. It does help us. Yeah. And we do appreciate it. Uh, how good was Prime Messi? He was quite good. <laughs> he was probably the best that's ever lived. Yeah, what do you mean probably? Yeah, well, exactly. Uh, he's definitely the best player I've ever seen. Yeah, same. Um, I mean, you've got people like who come into it, you know, you like uh, your Maradona, uh, who I think's up there as well. I didn't uh, see him play. Mm. Uh, and then you've got people like uh, Zinedine Zidane. You don't want to mention Ronaldo. Michel Platini. Who? Oh, Ronaldo from Brazil. Yeah. That Ronaldo. No, I was talking about <laughs> Cristiano. <laughs> Cristiano, yeah. He's a very good player as well. Don't think he's as good as Messi, though, in my no, opinion. I, I agree. Yeah. But anyway, let's... I think uh, Messi's more raw talent. Ronaldo's more of like a hard worker. Machine. Yeah. yeah he's, a, he's a machine. He's a, he's a Ronaldo. Yeah. Put the effort in. His got, got Messi's rewards. prime was 100% 2012 as well. Yeah, like 2012, possibly. 2013. Yeah, maybe, time. maybe. But he's always he's just been good ever since he broke into the scene. Yeah, I know. Yeah. But, uh, should we see what this is about? How good was Prime Messi? Let's have a look. When a 19-year-old boy with overflowing hair dribbled past the entire Getafe defense and had the commentator screaming "I'm Messi" like a maniac. Messi, 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 Everyone knew he was going to be a superstar. But not even Messi himself could have anticipated the level of success he would attain as a footballer. At 35 years of age, Messi played a key role for Argentina in the 2022 World Cup, winning the Golden Ball as the tournament's best player, and getting that one thing that eluded him in his whole career, the Black World Adam. Cup. Oh. Yet, as ridiculous as that sounds, Messi was even deadlier in his prime. I won't ask you to take my word for it. Just come with me on a trip down memory lane, and let's find out just how much of a menace Messi was in his prime. If you're hyped like I am, smash that like and subscribe button to join the yeah, I'm fam. And all set? Cool. Let's begin. While most 20-year-old footballers are just getting their feet wet in the big leagues, Lionel Messi, he was on a whole different level. By that age, he wasn't just playing for Barcelona. He was the heart and soul of the team even more so after the departure of Ronaldinho. After Ronaldinho's exit from Barcelona, Messi became the club's highest paid player, and he got the number 10 jersey too. After missing out on the 2007 Ballon d'Or by coming in third place, he watched Cristiano Ronaldo lift the award in 2008, Never along with the FIFA World Player of the Year award after coming up second in both- That's games. him in 2008. Looks the same as It now. looks exact same. <laughs> the awards. In the 2008-2009 season, Messi played his first full uninterrupted season, and he left no stone unturned. He scored 38 goals in 51 games and won the Champions League Golden Boot with nine goals, becoming the youngest player in the competition's history to do so. After scoring in both Champions League and the Copa del Rey final, plus his 23 league goals, he helped Barcelona become the first and only Spanish club to win the treble. In the sure. second half of 2000, Mother, you would have thought Real Madrid would have won the treble at you some would. point. Yeah, the yeah amount, especially the amount of Champions Leagues he won. I know, yeah. Nine, Barcelona won the Spanish Super Cup, UEFA Super Cup, and the FIFA Club World Cup to become the first club to ever achieve the sextuple, which means winning six trophies in a calendar year. Messi's contribution didn't go unnoticed as he went on to win the 2009 Ballon d'Or and the FIFA World Player of the Year award by the biggest voting margin in each trophy's history. It didn't take too long for him to add to his second Ballon d'Or collection as he kept on with his impressive form in 2010. The 2009-2010 season saw him tying with the legendary Delima Ronaldo's record from back in 96-97, netting a whopping 47 goals in all competitions. He even etched his name into Barcelona's history books as their top scorer in the Champions League, thanks to a jaw-dropping four-goal extravaganza against Arsenal in the quarterfinals, <laughs> sending them packing. Even without a Champions League trophy that year, Messi was unmatched, finishing as the competition's top scorer for the second consecutive season with eight goals. Over in La Liga, his 34 goals tied yet another of Ronaldo's records and played a crucial role in Barcelona clinching La Liga with a near-perfect season, losing just once. This stellar performance also bagged him his very first European golden boot. As the 2010-2011 season kicked off, Messi was already on the trophy hunt, bagging his first Finally piece of silverware with a hat-trick and a dominant 4-0 win over Sevilla for the Spanish Super Cup. 
He didn't stop there, leading Barcelona to a record-setting 16 straight league wins, including a masterclass and a 5-0 thrashing of Real Madrid, and another hat-trick against Atletico Madrid. His impressive performances throughout the year earned him his second FIFA Ballon d'Or. Most players would give anything to win just one Ballon d'Or in their career. But Lionel Messi isn't like most players, and with just two Ballon d'Ors, he was far from done, and he added more fuel to the fire the next year. In the closing stages of the 2010-2011 season, Lionel Messi became an unplayable right. monster. In the semi-final clash between Barcelona and Real Madrid in the Champions League, Lionel Messi... So it looks like that uh, when we're watching that baseball video and they get that sticky stuff so it sticks to his hand. It's like he's got that on his boots so just ball sticks to his feet. He looks like he's lost the ball and some somehow he's, he has another touch that just takes him away from a yeah. play. I've never seen any other player like it. Maradona was the closest, closest I've ever seen mm. to do very similar sort of acts. But the way he sort of like turns with the ball and he flicks it one way, it looks like he's lost it. And all of a sudden he's going a totally different way and he's five yards past someone with yeah. the ball. So you can't teach I'm that, like, you know what I mean? How do you do that? I know. You can't even, you, even if you try to do it, you can't do it. It's like, that's how hard it is. Unless you're messy. Hmm. Scored two goals in the first Look. leg of the tie. One of which he dribbled past the entire Real Madrid's midfield and defense that had players like Sergio Ramos, Pepe, Xabi Alonso, Marcelo, <laughs> and Iker Casillas. After knocking out Real Madrid in the semifinals, Messi met with Manchester United in the finals for the second time. And the him. outcome remained the same, with United feeling the Messi effect at its peak. Messi put on a performance that simply can't be described with words. He I'm pretty sure he scored a header. <laughs> yeah, he did. And then he took his boot off, didn't he? <laughs> Proper trolling him. <laughs> it was a cold night in Wembley with tensions high as the ceiling. And on the grandest stage in club football, Lionel Messi put on a performance so good that he had Sir Alex Ferguson's hand shaking like Shakira's waist. In a match that Whoa. ended 3-1 to one in Barcelona's favor with him scoring. That was just a come down. I thought it a, finished 2-0. That was just a come down. Yeah, I thought it was 2-0. I thought they beat him 2-0. Yeah, same. During the winning goal, Lionel Messi was rated 10 out of 10. And he remains the only player to get a perfect rating. Oh, no. Rating. It must have been because Rooney scored. Oh, yeah. How's Danny Alves doing now? I know. <laughs> in a Champions League video final. on him. <laughs> that too against a team like Manchester United. Who? The it's night saving. got better for Messi after he became the Champions League highest goal Look. scorer for the third season in a row. There. He finished the season with 53 goals nice. in all competitions, the highest in Spanish football history. His now, league still got the ball. Of 31 goals and 18 assists helped Barcelona win their third consecutive La Liga title. At the beginning of the 2011-2012 season, Messi continued his form by helping Barcelona win both the Spanish and European Super Cups, scoring a hat trick in the Spanish Super Cup final. He closed the year by scoring twice oh in the FIFA God. Club World Cup final to seal a 4-0 victory against Santos. Of course, he won another Ballon d'Or. I mean, who else gets it? This made it his third Ballon d'Or in a row. <laughs> in a <And> row. <laughs> Just uh... who else gets it? This made it his third Ballon d'Or in a... Some corruption there, didn't they? Set Blatter, Michel Platini. Eh? Ronaldo. In the back. Ronaldo, uh, yeah. Don't know who the guy's on the left. Can't really tell, can you? Uh, no. No. Bro. And the fourth player in the history of football to win the Ballon d'Or three times. He also won the inaugural UEFA Best Player in Europe award that season to cap off an impressive year. If you made it this far in the video, comment on Messi and like this video. <laughs> Done now? Let's get back into it. In 2012, Lionel Messi stopped competing with players and challenged clubs. That's how brilliant he was. After developing his game to become more of a creator and goal scorer, he unlocked another overpowered aspect of his game, and every team in Europe felt it. In the 2011-2012 season, he finished with 73 goals and 29 assists in all club competitions, breaking every record on the way. On the 7th of March 2012... 73 goals? I know. I know. That's crazy. Yeah. What did Harlan get last year? 52? Yeah. And that was... That, and was, that like, was monumental. Yeah, yeah. And he's done 20 more than that. Yeah. <laughs> Mad, isn't it? He scored five times in a Champions League round of 16 fixture against Bayern Leverkusen. Right. Harlan did that against Leipzig. He yep, scored five correct. in Coming the round of 16. Coming the first player to do so in the history of the Champions League. Two weeks later on the 20th of March, Messi became Barcelona's all-time leading goal scorer at the age of 24. 
breaking the 57-year-old record of 232 goals held by Cesar Rodriguez. He scored 232 goals by 24. That's that's the most insane stuff I've ever heard. How many has Ronaldo got? I think Ronaldo's got more goals, though. Yeah, by the age of 24 for a club like Barcelona. I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. After mm. scoring a hat-trick against Granada, he finished the season as the top scorer after scoring 50 league goals to set a new La Liga record, while his 73 goals in all competitions made him the single-season top scorer in European history. By the end of the year in 2012, Lionel Messi broke Gerd Moller's 40-year-old record after ending the year with 91 goals in 69 official games, scoring 79 in 60 appearances for Barcelona and 12 in 9 appearances for Argentina. Let that sink in for a minute. If you're still not impressed, here's something else you'd be shocked to know. Messi single-handedly outscored some top teams in Europe's top five leagues, like Manchester United, <laughs> Chelsea, PSG, and Borussia Dortmund. Each of these teams scored fewer goals than Leo in 2012. A squad of more than 20 players couldn't outscore. That's mad goal. because like United weren't that bad in 2012. No, well, they got to the Champions League final in 2012. 2012. No, that was 2009. Nine. Was it? 2008, they won it, and then 2010, 2011, it must have been that yeah, Wembley one. Can't remember. One guy. If you've ever said, there's no such thing as a one-man army, you've clearly never met Lionel Messi. By the end of the year, he extended his streak by winning his fourth Ballon d'Or in a row, making him the only player in the history of football to achieve this feat. In 2013 and 2014, Messi had one of the worst periods of his career due to recurring injuries from carrying Barcelona on his back. <laughs> his sole contributions to Barcelona's goals went from 24% to over 40% in a few months. A hamstring injury ended his world record goal scoring streak of 21 consecutive league games, scoring 33 goals along the way. He also became the first player to score consecutively against all 19 opposition teams in La Liga. But this wasn't enough, as he had to watch Cristiano Ronaldo win back-to-back -back Ballon d'Ors in both 2013 and 2014. Things started looking up in 2015 when Messi formed one of the deadliest attacking trios of all time with Neymar Jr. and Luis Suarez. Dubbed MSN, they scored a total of 122 goals in all competitions, setting a new Spanish record, with Messi scoring 58 of them. He became the player with the most hat-tricks in the history of La Liga after scoring his 32nd hat-trick against Real Valenciano, and he finished the season as the highest goal scorer. With 18 league assists, he also surpassed Luis Figo as the player with the most assists in La Liga. In the Champions League, he was the joint top scorer with 10 goals and the top assist provider with 6 assists as he led Barcelona to their 5th Champions League title and his 4th helping the club achieve their 2nd treble. He ended the year with his fifth Ballon d'Or and his second UEFA Best Award, making him the first player to win the Golden Ball five times. You, know, you see with Messi, but you don't see with many other players. You know, you look at we look at people like Jack Grealish playing every week. I'm not comparing Grealish to Messi, here, by the I was way. Gonna say. Just saying, but you watch players like Grealish, who's a, who's a ball carrier as well. But what he'll do, he'll come in and he'll go to his right constantly. Constantly go to his right, it's more comfortable with the ball on his right hand side of his body. Hmm. Messi is comfortable. You don't know where Messi's going to go left, right, straight. Up and over you, or, in or back heel, between your legs. come behind you, or through your legs, or whatever. You don't, you can't read him. It's just very difficult to read where he's going. He'll Whereas, make you like, he'll make, he'll make you move out of the way, or like he'll make you like send you by send not you, touching yeah. the ball. Yeah, yeah. He won't touch just, the ball. He's just feet. He's just he's so fast with his feet, but you don't like I say, you don't know which way. Most most players, you you watch a player who's your favorite player, and you'll sit unless it's Messi. <laughs> then don't watch it because it's just what I'm going to tell you. But you watch any other player and they'll have a favourite side to push the ball to all the time. As soon as they yeah. get it, they push it to the strongest side. With Especially left-footed left -footed right -footed. people. But yeah, they'll, they'll move it and then they'll and try, and, try and pirouette. Messi's right left they'll try, Yeah, he is, but they'll try and pirouette with the ball to keep it on that side. But you look, watch Messi again again, and watch that and you see left foot, right foot, mm. inside, outside, over the top, back heel turn. Yeah. He's everything. Yeah, he's you can't read when, it. When you're a right-footed player, you're normally better with your left foot than left-footed players are with their right foot yeah, as well. Yeah. Yeah, you don't see many right footy goals by Messi. No. Yeah. By 2019, the efficiency of Barcelona's attack rested entirely on Messi's shoulders, and they were in full Messi dependencia mode. Most people would give out under that immense pressure, but Messi <laughs> rode on it. 
He won the 2019 Best FIFA Men's Player Award on the 23rd of September. Never and two weeks it. later, <laughs> he broke Ronaldo's record for most goals scored in Europe's top five league with his 420th career league goal. After scoring his first Champions League goal of the season a few weeks later, <sighs> he became the first player to See score what I mean? Like, he didn't even move the ball there and the defenders got yeah. sent. Champions League goal of the season a few weeks later, he became the first yeah. player yeah. to score in 15 consecutive Champion League seasons. He also equaled Raul and Cristiano Ronaldo's shared record of the most sides scored against in the competition and broke the record a month later after scoring against Borussia Dortmund. He couldn't seem to stop breaking records, and he broke yet another one on the 2nd of December when he won his sixth Ballon d'Or trophy. Before we end this video, let's quickly acknowledge the incredible records Lionel Messi has set. He has the title for the most Ballon d'Or awards, most European Golden Boots, most goals in La Liga, most goals in Europe, most goal contributions in football, and the most Man of the Match awards. Each title underscores Messi's skill and his unmatched impact on football. So let's keep it real. Messi at his peak was basically a football sorcerer, wasn't he? If you had a blast watching this as much as we enjoyed putting it together, why not hit that like button? Go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was the best best I've ever seen play. Yeah. By, by a long way. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Same. It's not even close. I can't even think, you know, people say about um, Ronaldo. And so Ronaldo's a very good player. Uh, and he's still going strong now in Saudi Arabia. I don't know, it's, uh, I don't know which, which league's stronger, Saudi or MLS, I don't know. You do? I don't, but I don't watch enough of them both to, to, to compare. The MLS is better, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, the Saudi Arabian league might have like better players in it because they've bought a load, hmm. but the league in itself is way better in the MLS. You get like 600 fans at the games in Saudi. Yeah, you do, that's true. I've seen that, I've seen that. And, then you, and, it, and it's a rule that you have to have at least seven of your players from Saudi. So it's never going to uh, skyrocket, is it? No, not really, not really. It's never going to be a... Uh, I don't know. Unless they change that rule. It's money. It's money at yeah, the end yeah. of the day. It's what, like, what that brings down to. But yeah. I think Messi's gone to the MLS for footballing reasons. Um, obviously, a lifestyle as well, living in Miami. Yeah, exactly, I think he also yeah. sees that the, the, comp the competitiveness of the style of the league is probably a lot better than what he could probably get yeah, elsewhere. Because yeah. I think he's not. I think he's at that age now where he was struggling a bit when he's at PSG. Um, and that's kind of like... A, I wouldn't say a lower league because it's quite, you know, PSG is strong. The rest it's of the been, teams. It has been lowered to the sixth best league in yeah. Europe. Yeah. I think he's gone above it, hasn't it? The Dutch R league. Eredivisie. Eredivisie. Yeah. So. But it's, uh, he's, he looked like he was coming to the end of his career then. He's obviously gone to the USA, found the new spark. It's like in life over there, by the way. Yeah, he's definitely love it because he's got all his mates there. He's got as his well. mates there, yeah. Well, Aguero lives in Miami as well, doesn't he? Yeah, so he's got, he's got uh, Sergio there. Best friends. And he's got Suarez there. And he's, and he's that's got Busquets, Jordi Alba. Uh, but I think Suarez's his wife and Messi's wife are quite good friends as well. Yeah, so if, yeah, they're, yeah. if they're happy and living they're their life... They're kids and mates as well, aren't they? Yeah, like, so if, well, no, no, I don't think Suarez even has a kid. Actually. But even if well, even if they do, and it's, it's one of them where they've got the family Maybe. life's all set. He's going to be happy and he's gonna, if he's happy, he's going to be playing well, isn't he? Exactly. But, uh, fantastic player. So Best ever, in my opinion. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that. Let us know in the comments who, you, who was your best ever. See if you agree. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it anyway. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.